Chris Hirstead with the Walling Group, and today we're going to be using our mobile training house, My Best A Plus, to be able to demonstrate how to perform a air balance using the RetroTech uh, Flow Finder MK2. Very nice device, a good testing tool. It's nice and lightweight. You're able to test the CFM both for return and supply using the same uh, hood and there's several adjustments that can be made with it it's uh, nice to nice to be able to use first of all you turn it on here on the side it has its battery pack over on this side uh, which charges nicely overnight it will get a full charge and then you can also do a quick charge with it as well if it does run out of battery power you can set this for either validate or adjust so for example if I can set it here to validate that's going to be able to do either return or supply CFM measurements you can validate the amount of air coming through that supplier return or when you're doing an actual air balance then you can set it to adjust and it's going to do a continuous measurement of the flow of the CFM and then you can make adjustments with the dampers throughout the system to be able to arrive at the correct airflow that you're looking for per room. Uh, we have a very nice spreadsheet that we have put together to be able to assist in arriving at proper airflow for each room. And within our home, we have each one of these grills is representing a different room. So this is bedroom three, two, bedroom. Uh, this is living. Here is our dining room, kitchen, master bedroom, bedroom floor, and master bath. We're going to be now doing some validation of the airflow coming from each one of these. So we're now going to start using the RetroTech Flow Finder Powered Flow Hood to validate the CFM that we have coming out of each one of these registers in each room before we start adjusting any of the dampers to bring our system into balance. To do that, we're going to set our, our system to validate and on the left hand side there's a red button that begins the process of the power flow hood compensating the pressure that it's getting from the, from the supply. So let's start here with this kitchen. Make sure it's firmly placed up against the wall or up against the ceiling, wherever your vent is. Press the red button. On the bottom, it begins to show which direction the airflow is, indicated by an arrow. And it ramps up to balance out the pressure. So we read 189 CFM for the kitchen. I'm going to move up and do bedroom number two. Excuse me, bedroom number three. Press the button. doing the uh, pressure match. Okay, we'll go ahead and continue on by doing all the rest of them and we'll enter those into our spreadsheet and come back and show you how to start doing the adjustment uh, of the CFM levels for each room. Okay, let's do the kitchen. Our target's 156, so we need to close it down, close down the damper. Keep going. Down some more. One 
160. We need five more CFM taken off. One fifty two. If you can just open up just slightly. Perfect. Very good.